I have got a jam packed video for you. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The video that you're gonna see today is probably one of the most difficult ceremonies that I've ever shot in my life. Uh, the ceremony took place right at 6 p.m. And where I'm at, 6 p.m. means that the sun is already down. And this means that the only light that we had available for this ceremony was string lights. And I, I will tell you what, this is, um, you know, if you ever watch the NBA Finals and, you know, you're in the fourth quarter and it's neck and neck, there's two minutes left and everybody's giving it their all. That's what this ceremony felt like. I am not even joking when I say that. It was stressful. So the tips I'm gonna be giving you today is how to shoot your ceremonies in low light. And I'm also gonna be taking you through an entire wedding from bride and groom prep all the way to the reception. This is gonna be a full wedding. You're gonna be following me. And just before we start this video, I wanna say thank you to everybody who's taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I know you all. Y'all been liking me, y'all been leaving comments, y'all been subscribing, I appreciate y'all. And also just real quick, a huge thank you to Steven and Max who took the time, followed me around, shot all the behind the scenes footage for this wedding. Um, it this would not be possible without you. So again, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really, really thank you. I appreciate it if you hit the like and the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out allows me to do these videos and produce more content for you guys. So if that's something that interests you, if this video was at all helpful to you, even just a little bit, I would appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Honestly, don't. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did this. I don't know what that means, but it felt cool at the time, you know. Just gotta give me a break here. Jesus. Essentially, trying to play slow music. Pants right halfway around the waist and just like help We'll just cut the video the time out. The rest of it, what? We're just gonna cut the video time here. Yeah, and then you'll end up editing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to get it done. I'm probably gonna say this today. Huh? Yours are missing. Yeah, dude, it's super warm. I was like, I got a little more. It's flat. Oh! I feel like the whole point of groom prep and bride prep is just to get everybody comfortable with somebody that's going to be there taking their photos. And so I try not to be as intrusive. I try to stay in the corner, as you can see, uh, taking people's photos and trying to get candidates as much as I can. I try not to post people too, too much during this time. What I found works is I instruct people to do certain actions. So in this case, I got Logan's best man to help him get dressed and, you know, just as this little scene where they're kind of like getting the jacket on. As you can tell here, you get some really candid moments. Uh, it doesn't look too, too posed. I guess in the video, it does look a little weird because it is video, but when you're doing photos, I mean, if you're just taking snapshots of the day um, and you just get that one candid moment during this time, um, I think it does pay off and it doesn't feel weird at all. People want to say I'm a press boy because there's time. new youth. You know, they're going to take pictures of us. <laughs> we're both fans. We're both fans. We're your scientific yeah, yeah. experience. Oh, cool. You can look at me for this one. Great. Nice. And then let's do one real quick with the hands in the pocket. Just gonna look sure. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Go for it. Go for it. Let me help. Thank you. Awesome. Amazing. I mean, I'm doing what I can get. You just focus on brand. By the way, the camera that I got there is a film camera. It's the Canon A2E, shooting on Portra 800. He's a YouTuber after all. Yes. So I'll see them on everything. I what? Even about everything here in here. That's cool. I really like this thing. I love this one over here. That's almost like I found it. It's like fabulous. I don't know, at the wedding. Hey, you want some foreground, Brendan? 
<laughs> One of the weddings we shot, uh, I kept uh, getting going after Steven's. Uh, Ooh, this is a good angle right here. Some leading lines. Okay, it's pretty much every single shot that I did, you're like, hey, that's not bad. That's and not then, bad you, then you went there afterwards. <laughs> I didn't get any BTS footage of me shooting the uh, actual details of the venue, but I did this in super quick in five minutes, and the footage will probably be kind of not informative anyways. Uh, Alright yeah. guys, where are we taking pictures at? Okay, okay. somewhere, so the window faces that way, so we'll go this way. So we don't see. You know, it's actually better than it was about an hour ago. It, it is, it is. Yeah. Uh, but... Can we do it real quick? Huh? Yeah, we just do it real quick. Hey, uh, where's your, uh... your friend? I think so, right? Where do you want to do it? Unless we want to do it, like, somewhere back here. Y'all were in the Army or something? So, so we can change Marines, it up so Army the people are all the same. Air Force, cool. Say that this is probably my most favorite shot from the entire wedding. Can you get this back? No. Are you just somewhere around here? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got locked out. <laughs> All right, let me go around. And again, the same idea is with bride prep. Um, we're just going to be behind the scenes, uh, letting you know the bride and the mom interact with each other. We're trying not to direct them as much, and just kind of letting them live in the moment, uh, not trying to ruin their moment or get in the way at all. I try to let everything happen naturally, and if I do need to intervene briefly, then I will. I don't know if you could hear in the background audio, but uh, Steven was talking with the mom and she did mention that Laura's wedding dress is in fact the mom's uh, dress when she got married. So these are really key information that you can get during a wedding when you start talking with people, finding out certain details about the wedding. And this is important because now we know we need for a fact that we need to kind of focus on the details of the dress. Even though we already do that in a wedding, uh, make sure that we spend extra time uh, photographing the dress, the veil, the buttons, all the, um, you know, the accessories that go along with the dress because this is an heirloom in the family. And here I'm just explaining to Logan uh, what we're going to do. We're going to be doing the first look. I'm explaining to him that Laura is going to come down, go and tap her on the shoulder, turn over towards his left side because we are going to be on the left photographing them and not to turn towards the right because obviously that would ruin the photos. Oh, from the side. 
Okay. Then I can, it's kind of thin here, so yeah. I'm not going to be able to walk with him the whole way and then get a shot here. Okay. Yeah, and you're right. So as soon as we get lower, we'll have a walk and then we'll just... Yeah, so I'll just come down this way like for a little bit and then I can stand back over here and get another clip. And then if we need to get like an actual movement and like any other photos you need to get, then we can just have a walk again. I'm going to move the tripod to the Okay. Alright, I know it's hard. Alright, right, man, I'm so ready. I'm gonna try to do it, but yeah. Ready? Yeah. Do you want any, uh, do you want, oh, wait. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know in the first looks that I try to give the couples as much space as possible. I don't talk during the first looks. I don't instruct them to do anything. I just let them have their moment. Some couples uh, end up crying with each other. Some just start laughing, interacting, um, and some couples just stare awkwardly at each other, uh, not knowing what to do. Um, it's totally normal. It's totally cool. Um, just let them have their moment. Let them be themselves and try not to say anything try to keep it down don't uh, direct them to do anything uh, you want this moment to try to be as authentic as possible so it's 6 15 you want to try it in like let's do it yeah, yeah. we'll we do a couple sessions in 15 minutes let's do it <laughs> <laughs> that's a normal so let's get a shot real quick of you guys Here I'm just instructing Laura and Logan how to pose. I'm giving them a super, super quick crash course on how they should position their bodies, how they should position their legs um, and their torso to try and get the most pleasing looking images as possible. And as you can tell, I'm really going at it. I'm, I'm really trying to emphasize the hip kick and the knee swing. And that uh, couple of photo that I just did is arguably the most important photo of the entire wedding day, which is them holding each other, looking at the camera. That's the photo that everybody's going to ask for. So please don't miss that during your weddings. Yeah, you, can, you guys can come through here. Just be careful with the, there's some branches. That's about it though. Nothing crazy. Yeah, just come through here. Yeah, it's pretty safe. All right, can you guys, and then just kind of walk through here. Just kind of hold hands. Great. <laughs> Great. Well, let's go through here real quick. Huh? Sorry, dude. Not good. It's because it's kind of weird for them. Yeah, I know. Nice, guys. Great. Nice, good job. Cool. And can you guys go in for a kiss real quick? Oh, can you guys kiss real quick? Nice guys. Uh, let's go into the little fort here. There's a little stepping area over here, I believe. Over here. Okay. So let's, uh, is it okay? Do you guys feel comfortable over here? Yeah. Okay. We'll put you guys right here in the center of the door. Doors to you. Give her. Yeah. Okay. Some towards where Brendan is, but you all can look at each other just kind of ignore me. Okay. I know you know what. Look at each other. Yeah. I don't know if you heard earlier in the video, but uh, we only had 15 minutes to do this couple session. Um, so this is a little stressful. We're gonna move a little quickly um, and try to do as many shots as we can. We really can't do any creative stuff, any epic shots where we set up lights and everything. It's all gotta be all natural light. We gotta do it really, really quick. Um, so, you know, those can be a little stressful at times, but you know, we get it done. Yeah. Go ahead. One, two, three. One more. 
great. Thank you. I only had 15 minutes to do this couple session, um, and I only had five to do the bridal portrait. So, you know, that just goes to show you how stressful and fast-paced weddings can be. You only get a short amount of time to try and get as many shots as possible. Uh, so you got to move quickly. Here I'm just micing up Logan for uh, the video that we're creating. If you haven't seen that, I'll put that link in the info card above. I just want to point something out to you really quickly you see how dark the ceremony is already getting and Laura the bride hasn't even walked down the aisle yet um, we're already shooting at close to five six thousand ISO in some of these photos with super low shutter speeds already and that's what I was telling Steven um, we're a little stressed out because it is already dark and we only have string lights to light everything so a few tips for shooting in these super low light sh uh, scenarios is one, you really gotta drag your shutter speed down to one over your focal length. So with my 35 millimeter lens, I was doing one over 35th of a second or 140 or 150th of a second. And then with my 85 millimeter, I was using 185th, even 150th in some cases because I have image stabilization on the sensor. Um, and then if you have these mirrorless Sony's, uh, they are incredible at low light, but I try not to push them past 8,000 ISO. So I max out at 8,000 ISO, and then I'll do everything else in post to try to recover any shadow detail that I may have missed with underexposing the image. So important shots to get during the ceremony is, of course, the bride um, admiring the groom and vice versa, the groom admiring the bride. Uh, I try to get those photos. I want them looking at each other and I want them smiling at each other, uh, especially during the vows. So, for example, if the bride is reading her vows to the groom, then I'm going to be on the side of the bride facing the groom so i am photographing the groom's reaction to the bride speaking to her it's kind of weird where you, if you're photographing somebody in the middle of their sentences uh, they have weird faces and it's not flattering look at all so if the bride's talking i'm going to be on her side facing the groom and if the groom's talking i'm going to be on the groom's side facing the bride um, and that and what I've found in the past has made for the best images uh, because, again, you're not getting them in the middle of a sentence with their mouths open and weird faces. Now that God has brought you together, you have walked in divine order with the blessing of heaven and the blessing of those on earth who love you, lead you and watch over you. And if you notice, um, I'm anticipating that the a couple's going to do the first kiss already. So I'm sitting there. I'm not moving. I'm focused. I'm dialed in. 
nothing is gonna distract me from getting the first kiss photo and i've got my high plus shutter speed and i'm not missing this first kiss i'm not moving and if you noticed i took a thousand photos and you saw how quickly that happened don't miss the first kiss All right, so on a lot of the photography forums, I have seen people asking this question right here, which is how do I light an entire group with one light? Now we're at night, so I'm using a speed light uh, because we don't need a lot of power. My ISO is probably gonna be around 3200 ISO, so we don't need a lot of flash power. As a matter of fact, I'm not even on one over 128th power. I'm actually gonna be in TTL, like negative one stops because that's how dark it is and that's how sensitive my camera is gonna to be to flash. Now, if you noticed, I positioned the light behind me off to the left and I'm doing some test shots. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to feather this light and you're gonna to wanna to point it to the very, very far right um, last person. And this is the inverse square law. And basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to light the person that's on the very far right and direct the light towards them. Um, and so if we can get enough power towards that person on the right, um, everyone else that is between the light to the left is also gonna get an even spread of light. And that's how you evenly light a group. And if you don't subscribe to this channel after that huge, huge tip, I don't know what else will get you to. Yeah. I'll make sure your name gets out there, okay? <laughs> For what? Oh, no, good. thank you, man. No. Really yeah, you're gonna it. blow up after this, dude. Don't worry, you're gonna yeah, blow sure. up. Yeah. All right, so this is another tip on how to light this scene. As you can tell in this room, the lights in the room are predominantly orange, nasty looking tungsten bulbs. So we need to match our flash to that, which is using a CTO gel and the mag boob. Uh, using the mag boob will spread the light everywhere. And of course the CTO gel will match the light inside the room. That way in post when we adjust our settings, um, our light are not gonna be mixing and we're gonna have this nice pleasing looking images that doesn't look like it's being lit. Welcome all of you to Logan and Laura's wedding, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
you notice we're shooting this all naturally lit with just the string lights above we have this tent that is white so it's bouncing light everywhere and it is totally illuminating this scene usually i use a three-point lighting setup i'm gonna make a video on this um, very soon but right now it's natural light uh, three-point lighting setup you can use to light anything but we got lucky i don't have to do any setup uh, and the images came out great So the trick with the sparkler send off is to use prime lenses. You got to use wide open apertures, shutter speed, roughly about one, one twenty-fifth of a second. And if you have a second shooter, you can put a CTO gel with a speed light and a grid, and uh, you can have that person shooting with a light. But since I didn't have a second shooter, uh, Steven's usually my second shooter. He's just recording video this time. Um, it has to be all done natural light. This was definitely a long day, um, a very fast paced wedding, but this is what we live for. We live for the fast pacedness of a wedding and the stress that goes along with everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the tips help you. I hope this helps improve your wedding photography, answer any questions that you may have had when shooting a wedding and maybe set some type of expectation for you when you're gonna go out and shoot. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.